I'm not sure you guys have it. This is episode 66, yeah, guys. So, we continue chapter 4. Let's do this shit. Not long after I got into Night Hall, the others began to trickle in. After a few minutes. So, is this everyone? Well, then. Okay, let's. Let's discuss, let's discuss what we all discovered. Yeah, good idea. Alright, let's start with you, Sakura. Metal sheets have been attached to all the windows on the fourth floor. None of them budge an inch. In other words, just like everywhere else. Escape from the fourth floor seems unlikely. That was to be expected, though. What about you, Kyoko? Uh, Kyoko, she ignores me. Hey, Makoto, does Kyoko seem upset to you? That's right. She is, isn't she? She's totally mad. Yeah, it looks like it. What's your deal? I bet it's your fault, isn't it? You must have done something to her. This is bad. Yeah, this is a bad situation. Yeah. Harold, what you found? I found a couple of rooms on the fourth floor, but they were locked. The data center and had massive room. Had massive room. This, that sounds like exactly the kind of place we find some clues. If we can somehow unlock the door to get inside, who cares about a stupid lock? But what if it holds a, a huge ass clue, bro? What, what if? How about that? She knows how it put a little strongest missing link to knock down one Miyazaki mere, door. Yeah. What was that? <laughs> Monko, I heard your ass. No, please. please. You say that you have, I got the nicest ass on the block. The curb be a tip of the town. Is that what you said? What the heck? Oh no, I didn't. Hey, come on Dan, now. what did you say? Because I know you were talking about tearing down the, the door. Has had my yeah. room. Knock down the door. Knock down the head master head door. What kind of war? On education, what are you trying to start here? That's my room, you, you know. It is now. Me. Anyway. Betrayal? And you're thinking of busting it down. Seriously, don't want to piss me off. Do you have any idea how much bacteria lives lives on a single claw? Uh, um, no, I was just kidding. Please don't get mad. I'm not mad. What? What? You're totally mad. I was hoping I wouldn't have to add a rule for this, but if you're going to go around having those thoughts, I have no choice but to add another school regulation. Thanks a lot, hero. Now my uncle is adding another fucking rule. Oh, shit. Seriously, break down the door. A locked door is prohibited. There. That, there, that's a rule now, you sure. The rules matter to regulation. Is he gone? I was screwed for my life. I was sure he was going to kill me from serious. But if he would have gone on his way to make up a rule like that, no doubt. That's something important must be hidden in the headmaster room. You got a point there, Sokka. That there could be a, a huge ass clue in there. Now that's a rule, that's nothing we can do. What are you here? There was a big shelf in the, in the chemistry lab on the fourth floor. And it had all kinds of chemicals and stuff. Okay. There and there's an all-star cast of nutrient, addictives, and supplements. You should at least go take a peek. I highly recommend it. I think you and Ogre are probably the only ones that are interested in that stuff. Oh, but it's not all good stuff though. No, there was medicine and health stuff. On top of that, 
there was also a bunch of different poisons. Poisons? They were all labeled clearly. So, so it would be hard to grab one by mistake. It's true. So we better make sure we're careful around there. Um. And we probably shouldn't tell Bianca or Toka about the poison, right? Well. Just in case, you know, what I'm, what I'm trying to say, um. just in case, yeah, I think you're right. However. It's Bianca. It won't be long before he discovered it for himself. But put something as dangerous as poison right out in the open. That's absolutely the work of mass lines. So as everyone said what they need to say, I think so. Serious. But it looks like nobody found any clues at all. Let alone a way out of here. I haven't, I haven't been this depressed since my house burned to the ground. Someone do something to cheer me up. Oh, can I say something? How about that? It's because my dad was smoking in the bed. It's because your dad... All because your father was smoking in the bed. That comes to show you that both of your parents smoked. So, yeah. That's no... I have signed I like to report. So you guys all remember, right? Remember when I found that picture up in the third floor the other day? Perhaps. You know the one that shows Mondo Chair and Leon all together, right? Huh? Yeah, I remember. Well, what about that? Well, I found another one. Another picture almost just like that one. Another one. And it was of Saika, Celeste, and Hapui. So, yeah. Huh? They were all smiling. And and the classroom in the picture didn't have any metal covering the window. So the picture of Mondo, Chero, and Leon wasn't the only one. Now you found one of Celeste, Fumi, and Saika. But How can that? Conquer must have faked it. It's not that he must have faked it. It's that y'all might have been here for, for a while, but y'all just had your memories erased. Basically. So yeah, basically older than what y'all think y'all are. But if business is real, then everyone who was in it, they were had to be some kind of hidden connection there, don't you think? Some deeper truth that we just don't understand. What? Apparently, it's a fake. Monica said it was real. I know we could just write that off as a lie, but so then. then you trust Monica's words over people who have died. So that's what you're saying, isn't it? No, it's not it. I'm shocked. You told everyone how we should believe in our friends, but you refuse to do the same. That's not. What's going on, Kyoko? Why are you getting so emotional? I don't understand why she's so angry. Hey, come on. Stop fighting. All, all your good luck is going to flow away. Anyway, Mako, you're thinking about it too much. There's no way my client did fake the picture. Of course. He just trying to confuse us. You shouldn't listen to anything my client has to say. You might be right, but still. Are you so are you still so conflicted? What? It looks like you guys have stopped playing nice. Bianca. You all have the same sudden look on your faces. You are all so ugly before, you shouldn't let them sink any lower. When I look at you, it makes me think a frog sinking to a pile of man a manor. You know? Sorry. Just a second. Why are you apologizing? It was alone. You're not a part of this. That's right. 
that's true enough, your problems aren't mine. We are and will always be completely separate. So whatever causing your faces to turn so ugly has absolutely nothing to do with me. And if it happened to discover a vital clue, it wouldn't be concerning to you in the slightest. One second. Oh. Did he finally say something useful? Hey. Bianca, what have you been up to? That's fine. I don't mind telling you, perhaps forcing your lazy brains to get to work might do some good. Such I was in the bath. What What else would you like to know? Today's lottery numbers. He was taking a bath. Is he saying that he's been talking to all the ego? Did he tell him, son, maybe we should all go take a bath? Good idea. Next bath. Okay. Next bath. I know what they're actually going to go in there for, but they don't want to say it because they don't want Monty to find out. Walter Ego really did tell him, son, I wanted that, what that could have been. Let's see. Let's see what Alt Ego has to say. When I got into the dressing room, oh, Togo was already there. Togo is sitting alone on the bench, laptop in front of her. Togo, did you decide to come hear what Alt Ego had to say, too? What's your problem? I already heard it with Master. <laughs> with Master. You don't have to keep saying it anyway. So what are you doing right now? <laughs> Shut up. Stop barring me. How about that? Get out of the way. We have to talk to Alter Ego. Oh, no, I mean, Master of Promise. Promise. Master told me to wait here. So what? I'm, so that's what I'm doing. Huh? What are you doing? What are you, his dog? <laughs> If it's what Master wants, I'll do anything he asks. You just love being mistreated. Well, fine. If you really want me gone, by all means. What? Hey guys, what's going on? We like you to move. Sure thing. Just kneel before me and beg. First, the Omega Masochist. No, Super Satis. So what do you want, Genocide Jack? Uh, Togo, seriously? I'm asking you nicely to let, you, to let us use the laptop. <laughs> Did you hear what I said? Yeah, to I told you to kneel and beg. Come on, Makoto. Give her the old 1-2 combo. 1, drop to your knees. 2, yeesh. Why are you acting like you're not part of this? I was as desperate as I felt. Finally, I did kneel down in front of her and I said, Please, I'm begging you. Will you please, please let us use the laptop? <laughs> Such an ultra mir miraculous feeling of happiness. All, all my pent up anger and master, and master for abusing me is evaporating. So you even, even you realize it's a fuse. Hey. That should be enough, right? Hurry up and let us talk to Alter Ego. <laughs> hey, Kyoko. She's still ignoring you. I want to come closer. All right, tell Bianca, but... I was finally able to crack open all the files that were on this laptop. Sorry to have to have keep you all waiting. Correct. That's what I thought. I see. Finally, the time has come. Uh, um. I'm starting to get kind of nervous. I felt the same way resting on the keyboard. My hands has started to shake. Just a second. Move. Single word, what was like a sharpened blade. Wounded, I moved 
to let her take over. So there we go. Kyoko began typing the words, appearing as fast as I could read them. Can you tell us what you found out? Sure. I have analyzed the files and extracted all of the useful information I found. And the one practicing point of facts I discovered was a certain plan had been put into effect here. Translate the students of Hosea Academy and create a communal life for them. That was the starting goal of the plan. But it was meant to be more than just a normal school life. And students were intended to live the rest of their lives here. That's I see. This is exactly the situation we found ourselves in. Quite unthinkable, isn't it? And what's more, the one who came up with the plan was none other than the administrators of the host, of host people themselves. But wait, hold on. And the reason we've been in prison here, it wasn't the work of some psycho freak or criminal organization or whatever. So it was basically the work of the school themselves. That's what it is. No way. That's the school itself. Yup. It was the school itself. It was the school's plan all along, you know. That doesn't make any sense. How would they do that? Just a second. I don't think Ulti goes finished. Perhaps we should hear the rest. That's right. Seems that the reason they advised this plan was because what happened one year ago. This is, this is how to describe the that event. It said that it was the biggest, most often, most tragic event in human history. What does that mean? What? Yeah, what kind of name is that? Or something. It's basically, it's basically the tragedy, basically, the infamous tragedy. Otherwise known as a tragedy, yeah. It was apparently some sort of devastating occurrence. Because of the tragedy, yeah. Hope's Peak Academy was forced to discontinue its role as a school and close down. I see. Things are finally starting to make sense. What this means is one year ago, this thing, this tragedy took place, and whatever it was, it forced Hope Peak to shut down. From there, they decided to use the school as a kind of a staging ground. That's right. They plan to secure the quest the plan is the quest of the students here where they would live out the rest of their lives. So, um, but why would the host speak administrators want to shut everyone in like that? Okay. What could this tragic event have possibly been? And the flash Kyogo typed their questions on the computer. And the answer we got was, I don't know, if that information was ever on this computer, it's gone now. Totally useless, so I'm sorry. And that's all he says. Then, this, is this really the end? We get halfway through the answer and that's it? Well, we're a little, we're a little over halfway through the game, basically. Up here, so disappointing. No. There's one other thing I forgot to mention. I think it might be a point. I believe it has to do with the mastermind. Mastermind, yeah, those fingers move even faster than they had so far. Did you figure out the mastermind's identity? Sorry. No, I still don't know, but I did find two of the things. One lean, the whole peaks. That the one who finalized the plan to isolate you was Hope Peak's headmaster. The same person may very well be the mastermind who planned all this out. Going to follow the headmaster is a man in his late 30s. A man in his late 30s. Wait, was it the dude that got executed? At the very start of the game, because because before Leon got executed, before the killing game begun, some dude was getting executed in the, 
in the prologue, at the start of the prologue, before Makoto came in here. It seems possible, even likely, that, that he's somewhere in the school right now. The headmaster? Is here in the school. Okay. And let's. And that's gotta be the mastermind. I mean, Monko has been calling himself the headmaster, right? Perhaps. Which makes the real headmaster that much more suspicious. We're serious. But if we break down the door to the room, we're dead, right? What are we supposed to do now? I'll find a way. Huh? Huh? I. No matter what it takes, I will find a headmaster. What? No matter the cost. So, uh, Yoko, what's going on? I. I can't explain why. I just know that I have to find him. She has to. Kyoko, what's going on with you? And when she heard about the headmaster, her reaction was almost violent. So we should see if Altigo has any more information. Now Kyoko feels desperate to find the headmaster. It seems to be her attempt to regain composure. And she started typing again. Did you learn anything else? Sorry. That's everything I found. The information, all the information in the laptop seems to be pretty old. And that's all I have to do from here. Sorry. And it's really, it is all over. Hey. Wait, Ultigo seems to, to have more to say. So, uh... Well, well, it's kind of a different topic, but I was wondering about something. Uh... I haven't seen Cheryl for me. Since yesterday, a heavy silence fell across the room. The only sound was a flat, precise clicking of keys. As Kyoko said, they're all dead. What? Um, I see. Certainly, I knew that was a possibility, but okay, then. it really happened. Sorry. There's no point in me getting depressed over things I can't do anything about. Anyway. Then I guess. That's it. That's it. The same phrase that held so much me. She began typing again. You done a good job. Thank you. I'm done. I guess I am, huh? Okay, then. Maybe I'll take a little rest. I'm kind of tired. Goodbye, everyone. See you later. Oh shit. Let's save ya, guys. I'll see you guys next time. See ya.